Ajaxio CO slash, US also slash JTO slash, French, Oxo, Italian, AXEO or Ajaxio, Ajato, Corsican, AXEU, Ajatu, Ajaxino dialect, Ajaxu, Ajatu, Latin, Adiacium, is a French commune. Prefecture of the Department of Course du Sud, and head office of the Collectivite Territorial de Course. It is also the largest settlement on the island. Ajaxio is located on the west coast of the island of Corsica, 210 nautical miles southeast of Marseille. The original city went into decline in the Middle Ages, but began to prosper again after the Genoese built a citadel in 1492 to the south of the earlier settlement. After the Corsican Republic was declared in 1755 the Genoese continued to hold several citadels, including Ajaccio, until the French took control of the island. The inhabitants of the commune are known as Ajaxines or Ajaxian. The most famous of these is Napoleon Bonaparte, who was born in Ajaccio in 1769, and whose ancestral home, the Maison Bonaparte, is now a museum. Other dedications to him in the city include Ajaccio Napoleon Bonaparte Airport. Several hypotheses have been advanced as to the etymology of the name Ajaxio. Among these, the most prestigious suggests that the city was founded by the Greek legendary hero Ajax and named after him. Other more realistic explanations are, for example, that the name could be related to the Tuscan Ajaxio meaning sheep pens. Another explanation, supported by Byzantine sources from around the year 600 AD called the city Ajiation which suggests a possible Greek origin for the word. Agat could mean good luck or good mooring. Ajaxio is located on the west coast of the island of Corsica, 210 nautical miles southeast of Marseille. The commune occupies a sheltered position at the foot of wooded hills on the northern shore of the Gulf of Ajaccio between Ravona and the Pointe de la Parada and includes the Ile Sanguinaires. The harbour lies to the east of the original citadel below a hill overlooking a peninsula which protects the harbour in the south where the Quai de la Citadelle and the Jetty de la Citadelle are. The modern city not only encloses the entire harbour but takes up the better part of the Gulf of Ajaccio and in suburban form extends for some miles up the valley of the River Gravona. The flow from that river is nearly entirely consumed as the city's water supply. Many beaches and coves border its territory and the terrain is particularly rugged in the west where the highest point is 790 metres. Port although the commune of Ajaccio has a large area, only a small portion of this is urbanised. Therefore, the urban area of Ajaccio is located in the east of the commune on a narrow coastal strip forming a densely populated arc. The rest of the territory is natural with habitation of little importance and spread thinly. Suburbanization occurs north and east of the main urban area. The original urban core, close to the old marshy plain of Can was abandoned in favor of the current city which was built near the Puna della Leccia. It has undergone various improvements, particularly under Napoleon, who originated the two current major structural arteries. Ajaccio experienced a demographic boom in the 1960s, which explains why 85% of dwellings are post-1949. This is reflected in the layout of the city which is marked by very large areas of low-rise buildings and concrete towers, especially on the heights and in the north of the city, e. g. the waterfront, Le Can, and Le Salines. A dichotomy appears in the landscape between the old city and the imposing modern buildings. Ajaccio gives the image of a city built on two different levels. The city has a Mediterranean climate which is in the Köppen climate classification. The average annual sunshine is 2,726 hours. There are important local climatic variations, especially with wind exposure and total precipitation, between the city center, the airport, and the Ile Sanguinaires. The annual average rainfall is 645. 6 mm at the Campo de Loro weather station and 523. 9 mm at the Parada, the third driest place in metropolitan France. The heat and dryness of summer are somewhat tempered by the proximity of the Mediterranean Sea except when the Sirocco is blowing. In autumn and spring, heavy rainstorm episodes may occur. Winters are mild and snow is rare. Ajaccio is the French city which holds the record for the number of thunderstorms in the reference period 1971 to 2000 with an average of 39 thunderstorm days per year. On September 14, 2009, the city was hit by a tornado with an intensity of F1 on the Fujita scale. There was little damage except torn billboards, flying tiles, overturned cars, and broken windows but no casualties. Weather data for Ajaccio statue of Napoleon in the place Fosch X Grand Hotel Continental the city was. 
not mentioned by the Greek geographer Ptolemy of Alexandria in the 2nd century AD despite the presence of a place called Erkinion in the Sinarca area. It is likely that the city of Ajaxio had its first development at this time. The 2nd century was a period of prosperity in the Mediterranean basin and there was a need for a proper port at the head of the several valleys that lead to the Gulf able to accommodate large ships. Some important underwater archaeological discoveries recently made of Roman ships tend to confirm this. Further excavations conducted recently led to the discovery of important early Christian remains likely to significantly a re-evaluation upwards of the size of Ajaxio city in late antiquity and the beginning of the Middle Ages. The city was in any case already significant enough to be the seat of a diocese, mentioned by Pope Gregory the Great in 591. The city was then further north than the location chosen later by the Genoese, in the location of the existing quarters of Castel Vecchio and St. Lucie. The earliest certain written record of a settlement at Ajaxio with a name ancestral to its name was the Exhortation in Epistle 77 written in 601 AD by Gregory the Great to the Defensor Boniface. One of two known rectors of the early Corsican church, to tell him not to leave Illyria and Ajaxium without bishops. There is no earlier use of the term and Ajaxium is not an attested Latin word, which probably means that it is a Latinization of a word in some other language. The Ravenna cosmography of about 700 AD cites Ajaxion, which sometimes is taken as evidence of a prior Greek city, as Ion appears to be a Greek ending. There is, however, no evidence at all of a Greek presence on the west coast and the Ionians at Illyria on the east coast had been expelled by the Etruscans long before Roman domination. Ptolemy, who must come the closest to representing indigenous names, lists the Lacra River just south of a feature he calls the Sandy Shore on the southwest coast. If the shore is the Campo de Lora the Lacra would seem to be the combined mouth of the Gravona and Prunelli rivers, neither one of which sounds like Lacra. North of there was a Roman city, Urchinian. The western coastline was so distorted, however, that it is impossible to say where Ajaxium was, certainly, he would have known its name and location if he had had any first-hand knowledge of the island and if in fact it was there. Ptolemy's Urchinian is further north than Ajaxio and does not have the same name. It could be Sagan. The lack of correspondence between Ptolemaic and historical names known to be ancient has no defense except in the case of the two Roman colonies, Illyria and Mariana. In any case the population of the region must belong to Ptolemy's Terebeni or Titiani people, neither of which are ever heard about again. The population of the city throughout the centuries maintained an oral tradition that it had originally been Roman. Travelers of the 19th century could point to the hill of San Giovanni on the northwest shore of the Gulf of Ajaxio, which still had a cathedral said to have been the 6th century seat of the Bishop of Ajaxio. The Castello Vecchio, a ruined citadel, was believed to be Roman but turned out to have Gothic features. The hill was planted with vines. The farmers kept turning up artifacts and terracotta funerary urns that seemed to be Roman. In the 20th century, the hill was covered over with buildings and became a part of downtown Ajaxio. In 2005 construction plans for a lot on the hill offered the opportunity to the Institut National de Recherches Archaeologiques Preventatives to excavate. They found the baptistry of a 6th century cathedral and large amounts of pottery dated to the 6th and 7th centuries AD, in other words, an early Christian town. A cemetery had been placed over the old church. In it was a single Roman grave covered over with roof tiles bearing short indecipherable inscriptions. The finds of the previous century had included Roman coins. This is the only evidence so far of a Roman city continuous with the early Christian one. It has been established that after the 8th century the city, like most other Corsican coastal communities, strongly declined and disappeared almost completely. Nevertheless, a castle and a cathedral were still in place in 1492 which last was not demolished until 1748. Towards the end of the 15th century, the Genoese were eager to assert their dominance in the south of the island and decided to rebuild the city of Ajaxio. Several sites were considered, the Point de la Parada, the ancient city, and finally the Punta della Leccia which was finally selected. Work began on the town on April 21, 1492 south of the Christian village by the bank of St. George at Genoa, who sent Cristoforo of Gandini, an architect, to build it. He began with a castle on Capo di Bolo, around which he constructed residences for several hundred people. Genoese Tower. The new city was essentially a colony of Genoa. The Corsicans were restricted from the city for some years. Nevertheless, the town grew rapidly and became the administrative capital of the province of Odela de Mons. Bastia remained the capital of the entire island. Although at first populated exclusively by the Genoese, 
the city slowly opened to the Corsicans while the Ajaxians, almost to the French conquest, were legally citizens of the Republic of Genoa and were happy to distinguish themselves from the insular Piacani who lived mainly in Borgu, a suburb outside the city walls. Ajaccio was occupied from 1553 to 1559 by the French, but it again fell to the Genoese after the Treaty of Cateau Cambrasis in the latter year. Subsequently, the Republic of Genoa was strong enough to keep Corsica until 1755, the year Pasquale Paoli proclaimed the Corsican Republic. Paoli took most of the island for the Republic, but he was unable to force Genoese troops out of the citadels of St. Florent, Calvi, Ajaccio, Bastia, and Algajola. Leaving them there, he went on to build the nation, while the Republic of Genoa was left to ponder prospects and solutions. Their ultimate solution was to sell Corsica to France in 1768 and French troops of the Ancien Regime replaced Genoese ones in the citadels, including Ajaccio's. Corsica was formally annexed to France in 1780. Napoleon Bonaparte was born at Ajaccio in the same year as the Battle of Ponte Navio, 1769. The Bonaparte family at the time had a modest four-story home in town and a rarely used country home in the hills north of the city. The father of the family, attorney Carlo di Bonaparte, was secretary to Pasquale Paoli during the Corsican Republic. Ajaccio, Place de Gaulle, Monument Napoleon After the defeat of Paoli, the Comte de Marbeuf began to meet with some leading Corsicans to outline the shape of the future and enlist their assistance. The Comte was among a delegation from Ajaccio in 1769, offered his loyalty and was appointed assessor. Marbuf also offered Carlo di Bonaparte an appointment for one of his sons to the military college of Brienne, but Napoleone did not speak French which was a requirement, and he had to be at least 10 years of age. There is a dispute concerning Napoleon's age because of this requirement, the emperor is known to have altered the civic records at Ajaccio concerning himself and it is possible that he was born in Corte in 1768 when his father was there on business. In any case Napoleon was sent to a school in Auden to learn basic French, then after a year went to Brienne from 1779 to 1784. At Brienne Napoleon concentrated on studies. He wrote a boyish history of Corsica. He did not share his father's views but held Pasquale Paoli in high esteem and was at heart a Corsican nationalist. The top students were encouraged to go into the artillery. After graduation and a brief sojourn at the military school of Paris Napoleon applied for a second lieutenancy in the artillery regiment of La Fire at Valence and after a time was given the position. Meanwhile, his father died and his mother was cast into poverty in Corsica, still having four children to support. Her only income was Napoleon's meager salary. The regiment was in Auxon when the revolution broke out in the summer of 1789. Napoleon returned on leave to Ajaccio in October, became a Jacobin and began to work for the revolution. The National Assembly in Paris united Corsica to France and pardoned its exiles. Paoli returned in 1790 after 21 years and kissed the soil on which he stood. He and Napoleon met and toured the battlefield of Paoli's defeat. A National Assembly at Areza created the Department of Corsica and Paoli was subsequently elected president. He commanded the National Guard raised by Napoleon. After a brief return to his regiment Napoleon was promoted to first lieutenant and came home again on leave in 1791. The death of a rich uncle relieved the family's poverty. View of the citadel of Ajaccio all officers were recalled from leave in 1792, intervention threatened and war with Austria began. Napoleon returned to Paris for a review, was exonerated, then promoted to captain and given leave to escort his sister, a schoolgirl, back to Corsica at state expense. His family was prospering, his estate increased. Napoleon became a lieutenant colonel in the Corsican National Guard. Paoli sent him off on an expedition to Sardinia, ordered by France, under Pallis's nephew but the nephew had secret orders from Paoli to make sure the expedition failed. Paoli was now a conservative, opposing the execution of the king and supporting an alliance with Great Britain. Returning from Sardinia Napoleon with his family and all his supporters were instrumental in getting Paoli denounced at the National Convention in Paris in 1793. Napoleon earned the hatred of the Paolists by pretending to support Paoli and then turning against him. Paoli was convicted in absentia, a warrant was issued for his arrest and Napoleon was dispatched to Corsica as Inspector General of Artillery to take the citadel of Ajaccio from the Royalists who had held it since 1789. The Paolists combining with the Royalists defeated the French in two pitched battles and Napoleon and his family went on the run, hiding by day, while the Paolists burned their estate. Napoleon and his mother, 
Lady Xia, were taken out by ship in June 1793, by friends while two of the girls found refuge with other friends. They landed in Toulon with only Napoleon's pay for their support. Death mask of Napoleon the Bonapartes moved to Marseille but in August Toulon offered itself to the British and received the protection of a fleet under Admiral Hood. The siege of Toulon began in September under revolutionary officers mainly untrained in the art of war. Napoleon happened to present socially one evening and during a casual conversation over a misplaced 24-pounder explained the value of artillery. Taken seriously he was allowed to bring up over 100 guns from coastal emplacements but his plan for the taking of Toulon was set aside as one incompetent officer superseded another. By December they decided to try his plan and made him a colonel. Placing the guns at close range he used them to keep the British fleet away while he battered down the walls of Toulon. As soon as the Committee of Public Safety heard of the victory Napoleon became a brigadier general, the start of his meteoric rise to power. The Bonapartes were back in Ajaccio in 1797 under the protection of General Napoleon. Soon after Napoleon became first consul and then emperor, using his office to spread revolution throughout Europe. In 1811 he made Ajaccio the capital of the new department of Corsica. Despite his subsequent defeat by the Prussians, Russians, and British, his exile and his death, no victorious power reversed that decision or tried to remove Corsica from France. Among the natives, though Corsican nationalism is strong, and feeling often runs high in favour of a union with Italy, loyalty to France, however, as evidenced by elections, remains stronger. In the 19th century Ajaccio became a winter resort of the high society of the time, especially for the English, in the same way as Monaco, Cannes, and Nice. An Anglican church was even built. The first prison in France for children was built in Ajaccio in 1855, the horticultural colony of St. Anthony. It was a correctional colony for juvenile delinquents, established under Article 10 of the Act of August 5, 1850. Nearly 1,200 children from all over France stayed there until 1866, when it was closed. 60% of them perished, the victims of poor sanitation and malaria which infested the unhealthy areas that they were responsible to clean. Ajaccio, the first French town liberated on September 9, 1943, the people of Ajaccio rose up against the Nazi occupiers and became the first French town to be liberated from the domination of the Germans. General Charles de Gaulle went to Ajaccio on October 8, 1943 and said, We owe it to the field of battle the lesson of the page of history that was written. In French Corsica. Corsica to her fortune and honor is the first morsel of France to be liberated, which was done intentionally and willingly. In the light of its liberation, this demonstrates that these are the intentions and the will of the whole nation. Throughout this period, no Jew was executed or deported from Corsica through the protection afforded by its people and its government. This event now allows Corsica to aspire to the title righteous among the nations, as no French region except for the commune Le Chambon sur Lignan in Haute Loire carries this title. Their case is being investigated as of 2010. Since the middle of the 20th century, Ajaccio has seen significant development. The city has seen population growth and considerable urban sprawl. Today Ajaccio is the capital of Corsica and the main town of the island and seeks to establish itself as a true regional center. View of the old city of Ajaccio The Palace of Congress of Ajaccio The city is, with Bastia, the economic, commercial and administrative center of Corsica. Its urban area of nearly 90,000 inhabitants is spread over a large part of the Corse du Sud, on either side of the Gulf of Ajaccio and up the valley of the Gravona. Its business is primarily oriented towards the services sector. The services sector is by far the main source of employment in the city. Ajaccio is an administrative center comprising communal, intercommunal, departmental, regional, and prefectural services. It is also a shopping center with the commercial streets of the city center and the areas of peripheral activities such as that of Mezavia and along the Ring Road. Tourism is one of the most vital aspects of the economy, split between the seaside tourism of summer, cultural tourism, and fishing. A number of hotels, varying from one star to five star, are present across the commune. Ajaccio is the seat of the Chamber of Commerce and Industry of Ajaccio and Corsica South. It manages the ports of Ajaccio, Bonifacio, Porto Vecchio, Propriano and Antino Rossi Marina. It also manages Ajaccio Airport and Figari Airport as well as the Convention Center in the center of Ricanto. Secondary industry is underdeveloped, apart from the aeronautical company Corsica Aerospace Composite CCA, 
the largest company on the island with 135 employees at two sites. The storage sites of GDF Suez and Antargues in the district of Vazio are classified as high risk. The Central EDF du Vazio, a heavy oil power station, provides the south of the island with electricity. The Gravona Canal delivers water for consumption by the city. Rue du Cardinal Fesh by road, the city is accessible from National Route NR 194 from Bastia and NR 193 via NR 196 from Bonifacio. These two main axes, as well as the roads leading to suburban villages, connect Ajaccio from the north, the site of Ajaccio forming a dead end blocked by the sea to the south. Only the Cor Napoleon and the Boulevard du Roi Jerome cross the city. Along with the high urban density, this explains the major traffic and parking problems especially during peak hours and during the summer tourist season. A bypass through several neighborhoods is nearing completion. The Movistrata provides services on 21 urban routes, one city route for local links and 20 suburban lines. The frequency varies according to demand with intervals of 30 minutes for the most important routes, a park and ride with 300 spaces was. Built at Mezzana in the neighboring commune of Cerro La Carcapino in order to promote intermodality between cars and public transport. It was inaugurated on July 12, 2010. Ajaccio Airport The city is served by an Ajaccio Napoleon Bonaparte Airport which is the headquarters of Air Corsica, a Corsican airline. It connects Ajaccio to a number of cities in mainland France and to places in Europe to serve the tourist industry. The airline CCM Airlines also has its head office on the grounds of the airport. View of the port The port of Ajaccio is connected to the French mainland on an almost daily basis. There are also occasional links to the Italian mainland and to Sardinia, as well as a seasonal service serving Calvi and Propriano. The two major shipping companies providing these links are Corsica Linea and Corsica Ferries. Ferries Ajaccio has also become a stopover for cruises with a total of 418,086 passengers in 2007, by far the largest in Corsica and the second largest in France. The goal is for Ajaccio to eventually become the premier French port for cruises as well as being a main departure point. The fishing port The port function of the city is also served by the commercial, pleasure craft, and artisanal fisheries. The railway station in Ajaccio belongs to Chemin de Fer de la Corse and is located near the port at the Square Pierre Griffy. It connects Ajaccio to Corte, Bastia, and Calvi. There are two optional stops. In addition, the municipality has introduced an additional commuter service between Mezzana Station in the suburbs and Ajaccio Station located in the center. The prefecture Ajaccio was successively. Ajaccio remained an electoral stronghold of the Bonapartist party until the municipal elections of 2001. The outgoing municipality was then beaten by a left-wing coalition led by Simon Renuxai which gathered Social Democrats, Communists, and Charles Napoleon, the pretender to the imperial throne. List of successive mayors of Ajaccio 10 quarters are recognized by the municipality. Since December 2001, Ajaccio has been part of the Comunote d'Agglomeration du Pays Ajaxine with nine other communes, Afa, Alada, Apieto, Cunali Cordicciaito, Piri, Cerro La Carcapino, Tavaco, Valle di Mezzana, and Villanova. The geopolitical arrangements of the commune are slightly different from those typical of Corsica and France. Usually an arrondissement includes cantons and a canton includes one to several communes including the Cheflu, chief place, from which the canton takes its name. The city of Ajaccio is one commune, but it contains four cantons, cantons one to four, and a fraction of canton five. The latter contains three other communes, Bastelicacia, Alada, and Villanova, making a total of four communes for the five cantons of Ajaccio. Each canton contains a certain number of courtiers, quarters. Cantons 1, 2, 3, 4 are located along the Gulf of Ajaccio from west to east, while 5 is a little further up the valleys of the Gravona and the Prunelli rivers. These political divisions subdivide the population of Ajaccio into units that can be more democratically served but they do not give a true picture of the size of Ajaccio. In general language, Greater Ajaccio includes about 100,000 people with all the medical, educational, utility and transportational facilities of a big city. Up until World War II it was still possible to regard the city as being a settlement of narrow streets localized to a part of the harbor or the Gulf of Ajaccio, such bucolic descriptions do not fit the city of today. And travelogues intended for mountain or coastal recreational areas do not generally apply to Corsica's few big cities. 
The arrondissement contains other cantons that extend generally up the two rivers into central Corsica. Ajaccio is twinned with, the population of Ajaccio increased sharply after 1960 due to migration from rural areas and the coming of Pied Noir, immigrants from the Maghreb and French from mainland France. Ajaccio has three hospital sites, Ajaccio is the headquarters of the Academy of Corsica. The city of Ajaccio has, higher education is undeveloped except for a few BTS and IFC, the University of Corsica Pascal Paoli is located in Corte. A research facility of INRA is also located on Ajaccio. Ajaccio has a varied tourism potential, with both a cultural framework in the center of the city and a natural heritage around the coves and beaches of the Mediterranean Sea, as well as the Nature of 2000 Reserve of the Ile Sanguinaires. The Bonaparte House the Commune has many buildings and structures that are registered as historical monuments. Cathedral of Notre Dame de l'Assomption the town is the seat of a bishopric dating at least from the 7th century. It has tribunals of first instance and of commerce, training colleges, a communal college, a museum and a library. The three latter are established in the Palais Fesch, founded by Cardinal Fesch, who was born at Ajaccio in 1763. The commune has several religious buildings and structures that are registered as historical monuments, Church of San Roque, on the Corps Napoleon. Films made in Ajaccio include, AC Ajaccio fans at the Stade Francois Cati there are various sports facilities developed throughout the city. Many members of the Bonaparte family were born in Ajaccio, including Napoleon units that were stationed in Ajaccio. Thanks for watching.